hi viewers welcome to ganesh youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to explain you how to create option 194 connection in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with us environment now we're going to create beam so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this now we're going to create one more beam so pick the first point here and pick the second point here to create one more beam like this right click mouse enter to differentiate now we're going to change this second beam profile and color so double click on this beam and click on here by default we have w 16 by 40 now we're going to change this profile so w 12 by let's take 40 then click on apply ok now we're going to change the color also so let's take class 2 then click on modify and close it now we're going to create the connection between these two beams with offshore 194 connection so go to application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in search bar type number 194 you'll get this component number 194 offshore connection so select this component and pick the main part as a this beam and pick the secondary part as a this beam you can see now have the connection and close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view you can see by default we have the connection like this okay now we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and click on ok and ok okay now we're going to take the elevation along grid b so go to window and select view list and select this elevation on grid b click on here and close it you can see you'll get like this okay to edit this component as we required so double click on this component symbol you can see you can create the chamfer at this location so click on here and set the chamfer and give the value here let's take one inch then click on modify to see the result here now we have the chamfer value one inch if you want to give the two inch then enter here two inch click on modify like this okay for example let's take one inch and click on modify okay for example if you want to create the rounding so then click on here and select this second option rounding then click on modify you will get rounding like this okay for without chamfer you need to select this option then click on modify for without chamfer like this now coming to this length now from edge of the flange to at this location you can control from this option for example if you want to take one feet six inch then click on modify you can see now the length of this connection should be one feet four inch from edge of the flange to from edge of this connection okay for you can check this dimension also go to edit and click on measure and select horizontal distance and zoom it and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and place the side of the dimension you can see now we have the one feet six inches according to this option similarly you can change the depth of this part for example you can see you can control from here right click on must interrupt select this component symbol then let's take here 5 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now the depth should be 5 inch you can measure from here let's take measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at edge of this part if you're not getting the, the snap symbol here then you need to activate this option snap to geometry lines of points then pick the first point at here and pick the second point at this location and place it here now this should be 5 inch according to this option similarly you can control the radius of this curve also for example let's take here 1 inch then click on modify you can see now the radius should be 1 inch for example we're going to take 2 inch then click on modify you can see now the radius should be 2 inch similarly you can change as you require from here from this option now go to parts tab in parts you can control this uh, profile for example then click on modify apply ok right click on mouse interrupt now go to 3d view now click on space right click on mouse interrupt you can see now this 
bottom part should be same as this profile b profile for example if you want to check then click on this option select object in components then double click on this profile you can see now beam profile is the w 12 by 40 similarly this bottom part should be w 12 by 40 double click on it and you can see now this part should be w 12 by 40 same as this beam profile if you want to change this profile to plate profile then double click on this component symbol now go to parts and click on here and select this plates option then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on studio review now you can see select it this is the plate profile now double click on this plate profile you can see now plate half inch by eight half half inch thickness by eight inch width and close it if you want to change this plate profile then double click on this plate and click on here you can change the thickness from here let's take one by four inch then click on apply ok now click on modify you can see now the plate thickness should be quarter inch similarly you can change width and thickness from here similarly you can change the web plate thickness also for example double click on it you can change directly from here by default we have the 15 by 16 inch thickness if you want to change you can change from this option okay that's it click on space right click master row view now if you want to change this profile into standard profile then double click on this component then go to parts and click on here and select this profile and click on modify apply ok now click on space right click on master row view double click on this member you can see now this is the w12 by 40 if you want to change this profile then click on here and you can choose from here from this option as you require then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result okay click on space right click on serial okay that's it about how to create offshore 194 connection in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech love structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech love structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you